My name is Bart Tompes and I work in the Process Mining Group at the Eindhoven University of Technology. Today I would like to talk to you about the visualization of event logs in our process mining tool, PROM. We will show two event log visualizers, namely the default visualizer and the Explore Variants plugin. We will use both a synthetic event log and a more complex real-life variant. Event logs are the starting point for most process mining techniques and are most often used as input for advanced techniques such as process discovery or conformance checking. But you can learn a lot by analyzing the event log by itself. It is therefore generally a good idea to analyze the data at hand before using the more advanced techniques that the process mining field has to offer. By looking at the log data, you can get insights into the underlying process, namely which activities have been performed, by which resources, at which times, and whether or not additional data attributes has be have been recorded. For now, let's start from and open the simple event log. There are multiple ways of importing the event log into PROM. For now, we will use a naive log importer. Start the default log viewer by selecting the log file in the workspace and clicking the eye-shaped icon on the right. The first view you see is a so-called dashboard view, where information is shown about the general statistics of the log, such as the number of cases, the number of events that were recorded, and the number of events per case. We can also see the number of event classes, which are a specific categorization of events. A typical example is the activity name classifier or the resource classifier. From the distribution of events per case, you can get an idea on how complex the event log, or rather the process it records, is. In other words, whether there is a lot of variability or not. As we can see, for this simple event log, most cases have around 11 events, whereas some have up to 24. The fact that there are only a few possible values might indicate a structured process. On the right, you can see the timestamps of the first and last events in the event log. The dashboard is only the first of three main views of the data, so let's look at the others as well. The second view is the so-called inspector. The inspector view is divided into three different tabs. In the first one, the browser tab, we can browse the individual cases to see which events and possibly data attributes were recorded. Cases are listed in the left column. When clicked, all events of the selected case are shown chronologically. Default event data such as activity name, timestamp and resource information is shown here. Also, case-wide data attributes are shown on the right side of the screen. When an event is clicked, data attributes belonging to that specific event are shown. We will discuss this Explorer tab later, but first let's go to the Log Attributes tab. The Log Attributes tab shows the structure of the event log, what information is present in the log on the case or event level. Attributes can be clicked to inspect the different values they hold in the log. The third view on the left side of the screen shows a summary of the event log. Absolute and relative frequencies are shown for each event class, for each event classifier. Events that occur as the first and or last event in a case are listed separately as well. Here, we can quickly find activities that are very frequent or do not occur often. If resource information is present, it is possible to see the distribution of work over resources as well. The log summary information can be exported to an HTML file for your convenience. Now, let's go back to the Explorer tab in the Inspector view. Here, cases are shown as streams of triangular events. Each chevron indicates an activity. The color of the chevron describes their frequency. Green activities are highly frequent throughout the cases in the log, whereas red activities are very rare. Information of specific events is shown when you hover over them. Now, let's look at a second event log visualizer in PROM, the Explore Event Log Visualizer. Several visualizers can be opened in the drop-down list at the top. You'll notice this plugin shows similar information as can be found in the Explorer view of the Inspector tab shown earlier. In this visualizer, however, individual cases are grouped with cases that share the same sequence of activities. We can find information on the frequency of these so-called process variants and can inspect the individual events that occurred in these cases. Again, activities have a unique color, so repeated activities and patterns can be spotted quickly. Also, 
Variants can be sorted based on their frequency, their length or their prefix, or a combination. When a specific process variant is clicked, the details of its activities are shown and the different cases that follow the selected sequence of activities are shown on the right. An advanced filter is available to filter cases based on case or event attributes. When a specific case is selected, the timestamp of the events are shown and the attribute values of the case are plotted below the events. At the bottom, the type and the value of all attributes associated with the case are listed. Now we know how the information in the event log is presented, let's look at a real-life event log and how we would answer typical business questions with the use of these two event log visualizers. The first question is, what kind of process are we dealing with? To answer this question, you can go back to the dashboard and look at the amount of events per case to see whether or not this is a complex process. On the right, you can see we have three years worth of data. And since this is a medical event log, it might be that the process has changed in this three years. We can also see that there are many events and event classes. So there might be an unstructured process hidden below. What are the main variants of the process? By looking at the Explorer, we can see that there are lots of red events. This means that there are a lot of infrequent activities, so we might filter on frequency. Looking at the Explore Event Log plugin, we can see that most variants only have one or two cases. This implies that most cases follow a unique path through the process. If we sort in prefix, we can find common prefixes or patterns. To find more advanced patterns, more complex patterns, we can use other plugins as well. Which are the resources working in this process and how do they work together? From the dashboard we can see there is only one originator, but this does not mean there is no resource information present. By looking at the log attributes, we can see that there is a bunch of attributes recorded. So, this implies that we can look at the process from different perspectives. We might filter to look only at cases containing specific case or event attributes. We can see that we do have department information, so we might use other techniques to make a social network. We can view the process from the viewpoint of a specific department or resource. We can filter in or out only activities executed in a specific department. Thanks for watching. I hope you now have an idea on how to answer simple business questions using the log visualizers in PROM. For the more advanced process mining techniques, you can have a look at our other videos in this series.